Hello everybody, I'm back with, uh, I guess, uh, vlog number two of this Project Del Sol that I have here. A lot has changed since the last video just because it's been about a year and a half since I recorded that last video and I just decided to post it because now I'm really active on modifying this car, getting it to where I want it to be. Um, I already kind of know 98% of what I want for this car, so it's all about sourcing it, getting it, and hopefully getting it at a, a pretty decent price. But I have had a lot of work done to it already when it comes to the body. The body is completely straight, um, completely dent free, um, kind of blemish free. It got a brand new paint job. I mean, I'll go in and show you that. The roof was where you were able to tell before in the last video that was really oxidized. And you can see now this thing is, is really nice. So we'll start here in the front. With these headlights um, got these obviously these are some like Amazon headlights not a problem with that as long as I'm able to see out it I plan to get some HIDs for this car to make them a little brighter but I'm gonna be changing these out uh, for some that are like black I'm going for that black and red uh, theme for this car same with here these are the stock ones here but I'm gonna be changing those out for some black ones I believe these side markers I'm gonna try to find some smoke ones just because like I said it goes with the theme of the car or I guess the look of the car. Uh, there, there on the bottom, you can see that I have the Type R lip. Now the place I took it to did a great job because as you can see, they put it where it goes over the top. If you check out my other Del Sol, my blue one that I have, you can see that they didn't do that. You can kind of see all the white dust from all the sanding, but uh, a lot of that comes out with just wiping it. So there's that. We'll move along the side. So the rims are still the same, kind of flat tires, don't really care about that. Now the sides here I had uh, repainted but flat black, they kind of look like gloss black uh, from the camera that I'm seeing through, through that. But they are gloss black because I'm going with that flat black along from the front here. I want to add some uh, mud flaps so that will look nice going there and there. Got a flat tire even here, but hey, it don't matter, I'm upgrading these rims. Inside the wheel well, as you can see, it's uh, kind of like a pinkish color. I do plan to uh, paint that all black. Change out, of course, the suspension. Moving around to the back of the car. Looks all nice except for here. I gotta go ahead and mask that off and paint it. Obviously, like a, I don't know if I wanna go with gloss black or uh, flat black. Let me know in the comments what you think I should do for this back window part. I mean, I know a lot of them, they, this is one of like the first things that start to show like the chrome. And then I'm missing a couple parts here because the ones that I had before were bad. A lot of the sills, if they're not in good shape after I clean them up, I'm looking to actually change those out. Now moving on to the interior of the car. As you can see, first off, got some red lights, both sides see that one over there but uh just a, a little added bonus the place I took it to the audio shop they did not charge me for that they just did it so I like that now we'll start with the door in the last one you saw how bad they were duct tape had been put on the top it tore off when I pulled that duct tape off really bad job not something that I, I liked at all but everything got wrapped in black and as you see to help so the Sun don't kill it it has like an extra thick padding right there up on top, right here where it usually cracks, all gone. Redid the whole door all black, even this black. And now none of this was from like a 97 Del Sol where it was black interior. This is all actually rewrapped in black. And I'm talking everything that I can think of got wrapped in black or painted in black. We got my super sexy leather S2000 seats rewrapped. They look really nice. Stock steering wheel, plan to change all that out. Let's go up to the top. Don't know if you can really see it, but the visors are black. The pillars are black. Everything's just black. I'm trying to see focuses right there. Um, the handles, I'm looking to change out for some of those uh, aftermarket ones that people are selling online. They're like uh, brushed aluminum. We'll probably want to try to powder coat those before I install them, but I want to get some of those. But other than that, the interior didn't really change. Um, last time I had a, a stock 
a cassette player. Now I got an Alpine CD player, Bluetooth, you know, all the good stuff, all the modern stuff from nowadays. But other than that, I think that's pretty much it for the interior. I'm close that up. Now on the rear, you can see gloss black, that license plate panel. I don't know, for some reason I kind of like how that offsets it. I wanted to get a spoiler, I actually have a spoiler. Just kind of look over here. Got like a Mugen style one, and I say Mugen style because it uh, wasn't all that great of uh, condition. It was, uh, it's kind of poorly fabricated, so therefore I kind of wanted to nix that one. Uh, if you can see from one of my old Del Sol's, what does it say right there? Vegas Invasion, that's Vegas Invasion 7, best engine. So yes, I've kind of been in the Del Sol scene, even though I'm kind of getting back into it. It's been kind of a while. I'll show you the car that I had that on soon. But once again, moving along, checking it out. So I believe like the last thing for me to show you that's really been changed other than the, the nice paint job, three stage paint job is in the trunk. And in here, you can see completely rhino lined black. Really nice. Get that out of the way. You can see that antenna right in there. I want to swap that out, probably do like an S2000 swap on that. But all rhino lined, all painted black, all nice, just the way I wanted it. Gloss black on the outside, gloss red all around. So I guess, I guess I forgot the engine. Not that there's really been much done to the engine. I mean, there hasn't really been anything. I'm missing the, the wiper things. Gotta get some, probably just some aftermarket black ones. Hold on, hard to do this one handed. All right, so trying to do it all in one take, but there you go, the engine, stock b 16 a 3 same engine that was in before. The only thing that's missing is that cheap alarm that was giving me problems in the wiring. Got a brand new alarm, you know, the GPS alarm, telling me where my car is at all times. Got rid of the cruise control, because obviously if I'm getting rid of the steering wheel, I'll no longer have cruise control, plus I don't ever use it. You know, I want to be in control at all times. I want to be able to accelerate when I want and have no problems doing that ready. Don't want to have to put my foot up and put my foot down to, to give it that gas. But I mean, AC's running good, especially during this hot summertime right now. As you can see though, I do need to find quite a few pieces. That's not too bad back there, but you can kind of see right here, the weather stripping. These are probably some of the hardest parts to find, but I'm gonna source them eventually. So that is it right there. Um, in my next video, I'll probably be showing you uh, more or less what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start off with suspension on this car. That's the plan is suspension, uh, some interior, some more exterior, but I'm not gonna get to the engine to the end because that is probably where I'm undecided on what I'm gonna do. Do I keep it a uh, B series with putting in like a Type R engine, a B20 VTEC, or do I go with something like a K20 or K24 um, one of the real VTECs, not one of the K24s from a CRV. I'm talking the real VTEC. Um, but that's pretty much where I'm starting. Um, so once again, um, let me know. I know about 98% of what I'm, I'm going to be doing to this car as far as exterior, suspension, interior. But if you have any recommendations on brands I should go with, let me know in the comments below. Um, any parts that I should be going with, let me know in the comments below. But uh, until next time, Hit that subscribe button, hit that uh, the notification bell so you're updated whenever I do post a video, and I will see you then.